When production hits a snarl at the felt factory, things are going well. That's because felt is made by entangling fibers into a matted material. Felt has actually been around for thousands of years and may be the first fabric ever produced. These days, mechanization puts a new twist on felt. Boot liners are an example of the way felt layers our lives. They begin with bales of polyester fibers. Sometimes they add wool or another synthetic fiber. This machine is about to sink its teeth into those fibers. It's a rotating bed with hundreds of fierce-looking spikes protruding from it. An operator loads the bales of fibers onto a feeder conveyor. It shuffles the clumps towards that spiked conveyor, which snags the fibers and takes them up to another spiked rotating belt. But this one moves in a different direction to grab and pull the short springy fibers apart. The process fluffs and blends the fibers, transforming the dense clumps into something that's the consistency of cotton wool. Now that the fibers have been loosened up, it will be easier to extract any metal bits that may have contaminated the bales early on. A magnet pulls out these contaminants which would otherwise cause damage to equipment down the line. With the metal bits removed, the fibers move into another machine. This one has a series of pinned rollers that are close enough to almost touch. They rotate in different directions to align the fibers. This creates a uniform web of fluff. Then it's over to the cross slapper, a system of conveyors that move back and forth to neatly fold it up. Then they travel between rollers, which squeeze several layers down to a thickness of a little more than a centimeter. 10,000 long needles repeatedly stab the compressed web to entangle the fibers. Each needle is equipped with nine barbs to snare the polyester fibers. This process is how they become enmeshed. It transforms the compacted fluff into felt. Rollers pull the matted material out of the machine. As they wind it onto a big roll, you can see that the fibers are now a solid mass. Next, they layer two plies of felt onto a metallized nylon film. This shiny film will reflect the outside cold. And the three layers combined will provide extra thermal protection that will even insulate against arctic temperatures if need be. More long needles punch into the three layers and entangle the fibers to create one sheet of material. It's a form of laminating without glue. The needles leave little holes in the reflective film that improve the breathability of the fabric. Next, a worker uses a 25-ton press to punch boot liner patterns out of the felt. The press bears down on dies that cut out various sized insoles and boot liner side pieces. This felt is now ready to add a little warmth to someone's life. All they have to do is sew the parts together. The seamstress stitches the two side pieces using an industrial machine with needles that easily penetrate the thick, stiff felt. The top of the boot liner is finished, but without its sole, it's incomplete. They sew the felt sole onto it with a neat loop stitch, the only stitch that would hold this configuration together. From a pile of synthetic fibers to a rigid liner that's ready to protect you against the elements, it's been quite a journey. And it's far from over, as felt continues to keep its foothold in the world of layers and liners.